Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Thoughts of a Theorist. So in our previous videos, we discussed some basics of density functional theory, which as we know is a very powerful modeling method for the description or calculation of the properties of atoms and molecules and their interactions. As we know in density functional theory, we also need the electron density, which contains all the information that we need for the calculations of the properties of interest. We also discussed some nanomaterials like the quasi one-dimensional materials like carbon nanotube. We have the two-dimensional materials like graphene, silicine, hexagonal boron nitride, we have phosphorine and so on. And we also have the transition metal dichalcogenides. So in this tutorial, we will be uh, discussing very briefly how to visualize the charge density difference of a system, which, as we know, is a topological analysis on the electron density of our materials. So this charge density difference is very important, especially if we want to see what happens to the charges when a certain molecule interacts with another molecule for us to really visualize if there is a charge transfer. Now, in this tutorial, we will be using this transition metal dichalcogenide, which we call as nubium disalinide. This contains one nubium atom and two selenide atoms forming uh, two, or, or transition metal dichalcogenides. And as we know, nubium disalinide is having a trigonal prismatic phase, and it's naturally metallic at room temperature. So to visualize this one, or uh, to perform a charge density difference calculation, we have to perform uh, some optimizations first in quantum espresso or in, in VASP or, or in any um, software no, or application that can read our input files in density functional theory. But uh, for me, I used the quantum espresso. Then after optimization, we have to perform a cell a self-consistent field calculation, and then we have this uh, post-processing calculation. So we actually have already uh, calculated no, our charge density, uh, density difference, which is this one. So just to show to you how to really calculate it, no, so this is actually our paper that we have presented in uh, a national conference. So charge density difference is a topological analysis which takes the difference of the charge density of the system and the isolated reference charge densities of structures comprising the system. So mathematically, this is given by this equation. We have uh, the charge density difference is given by this one. This is the charge density of the system. So uh, in, this, in this tutorial, what we want to do is to find the charge density difference of uh, an oxygen dope or an oxygen adsorbed nubium disalinide. So as we can see, this is our nubium disalinide, no? the, this uh, two-dimensional material here. And then we adsorb molecular oxygen on the surface of the nubium disalinide. And we really can see here that we have a trigonal prismatic phase for our system. So this is our system. So now uh, we already have calculated the charge density uh, of, of our system, which is the nubium disalinide adsorbed with oxygen atom. And this is the um, output file. So we have, uh, for example, here we have, okay, this one. So we already have calculated now for the system. And here uh, what we, uh, what is very important is the uh, dot cube file, no? because we are using uh, Vesta. And of course, uh, in most GUIs or in most uh, molecular visualizer or, or atomic visualizers, we really need to, have this dot cube file because um, this contains the charge density that we need to visualize. Okay, so this is for the system. Now, uh, we also have to uh, calculate the charge density of the uh, components, no? the isolated reference, reference charge densities of the structure. So this is the density A minus density B. So basically, we have here the system is the nubium disalinide and the, the, the oxygen atoms. And then the isolated charge densities or the isolated materials that we need to subtract here is the charge density of the isolated molecular oxygen and the charge density of the uh, isolated 
new beam disselenoid. And uh, again, we already have performed that one. No? So we have this, this one. This is the charge density of the system. This is the charge density of the molecular oxygen. And this is the charge density of our new beam disselenoid. So we try to visualize this one in, uh, in, in Vesta. Okay? So let us start. <coughs> So, uh, in a way, Vesta is a free software no, or a free application that is downloadable in, from the internet. So, we open uh, that one. We have the CDD system. And then we open the .cube file. This one. So, let me just change the color of the atoms. Okay. Um, let us change the colors. So we have the atoms, so uh, we have, suppose, the selenide is yellow, and then we have the niobium is, is gray. Okay, so we have this one. And then we can show the isosurfaces. Now, these are actually showing the charge densities of, of the niobium diselenide. Okay, now, we also have the charge densities of the components of the niobium diselenide. We have the oxygen and the the new beam disalinide. Okay, so uh, what we need to do here to calculate the charge density difference is to go to edit and then we move to edit data and then we have volumetric data. So from here, we can import the, the structures that we will be subtracting from our system. So uh, firstly, we will be subtracting the molecular oxygen. Again, dot cube file. So we actually have this following operations. Now we have subtract from current data, replace current data, we have multiply or divide. But since we want to calculate the charge density difference, so we have to really subtract the charge density differences or the charge densities of this structure. So we have to subtract. And then we have the choice now if we want to convert the unit or not. Now suppose we just have to uh, retain the raw data. Okay, so we subtract this one. Uh, we'll just wait. Okay, and then that's for the uh, oxygen. We still have to subtract the niobium disalinide. So this is it. Okay, so we subtract this one. Okay, so uh, let's just let's just wait. Okay, so that's it, and then we apply, and then we have this charge density difference. Now, uh, Vesta is actually very nice because we can magnify, you know, we can do everything or, or there are so many options that we can possibly do. So we have this one, the charge density difference. Now here, we can interpret this one as, okay, the, the yellow colors or isosurfaces could actually be interpreted as charge um, accumulation, uh, which means that the oxygen atom has accumulated or the oxygen molecule has accumulated charge, uh, what, what, is, what is this, uh, electronic charges. And then the cyan color uh, means that there has been some charge depletion. Okay, so I guess that's all. If you have some questions, no, we, we can move this one. Or if you have some queries, then you can just email me or chat your suggestions or queries in the chat box.